everybody, welcome back to Garage Story. So today is a beautiful Saturday. Uh, we got some rain last night. We've been getting a lot of rain. And as you can see, the grass is uh, kind of hard to stay on top of. And part of that's because I don't have a nice mower for cutting it right now that's working good. I've been using uh, the time cutter, the 38 inch one, quite a bit, but it's kind of narrow and small. So I pulled this out, the Z425. Oh yeah, but it's had some issues. I resolved one of the persistent issues. Well, I resolved the reason I stopped using it, which was a bad ground. This ground down here on the engine mounting bolt did not work well. So we've got that resolved through much pain and turmoil. Mental pain, not, not physical pain. Yeah, electrical stuff is sometimes hard to diagnose because I'm so used to the solenoids going bad or a starter, I pulled the starter out, starter worked fine, the solenoid would click, I arced it and it did nothing. It kind of gave the symptoms of a bad solenoid. I tried jumping hot directly to my battery again, all going down the track of not having a good hot connection or some component being bad. And finally, I realized if I jump her to ground to the engine block from my negative terminal on the battery, then it worked. I learned a little bit more. <laughs> uh, the mower worked fine after that for a little bit and uh, then seemed to start having fuel issues. So that's why we've got the carburetor out of it today. Today I'd like to get this carburetor cleaned out and reinstalled. And I really hope it works well, but I'm a little concerned since this is a pretty new aftermarket carb. I'm concerned that it may not be jetted correctly and I may need a different jet, but I'm not super knowledgeable on jets for carburetors. I just don't like how Briggs designed this where you pretty much have to take the manifold off every time you want to take the carburetor off. It's just kind of a pain and uh, increases the chance of having intake manifold seals leaking because you take them off and on. But it is what it is. We got it off. We need to go ahead and take the float ball off, see if we can give this thing a quick clean. Okay, so I just got the float ball off and immediately I noticed an issue. See that O-ring is squashed back off of this right here. That's not good. Something is not sealed around these jets here, so we could be getting the wrong mixture. I can't say for certain we were getting the wrong mixture, but there is that possibility since that gasket was out. I'm gonna roll this O-ring a little bit, see if it'll go back to its correct shape. Maybe put some PB blaster on it to soften it up. But while we're in here, let's take a look at everything else. The uh, choke down plate here, I guess, is kind of a little corroded. All right, so I got the carb cleaned up pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I had to reuse some old gaskets from a different carburetor because these gaskets were not as good and uh, it kind of stretched out a little bit, which is annoying for putting stuff back together. Sometimes though, I will say this, you can get a gasket um, wet with carb cleaner when you're cleaning a carb, taking it apart. And um, if you let it dry out enough, it may shrink back down. So it can expand when it gets the carb cleaner, it can shrink back when it dries out. Let's go ahead and run with this and see uh, See if this works. I feel like I may have cleaned and fixed a few small problems like um, some gunk in the uh, in the float area um, where the fuel comes in and uh, maybe one of the jets seemed a little sluggish and just some general debris down in there. Not too bad, um, but I'm hopeful it was enough to make a difference. So let's put it in there and see how it goes. Alright, I think I've got everything back together now. Um, fuel lines on, I put a different fuel filter in there. I need to get some fuel down in there. I'll have to crank it a bit. Um, carburetor's all back together, bolted on. Can't forget this, sometimes you forget to reconnect your um, solenoid. That would make a big difference there. Okay. I think we're ready for uh, firing it up. Kind of a small moment of truth here. I mean, it already kind of ran. Hopefully it runs better now. It's not like a totally dead mower that we're resurrecting. So let's uh, see if it fires good. Hopefully we've got enough juice in the battery. Okay, so full choke, 
low throttle. I'm gonna have to crank it a bit probably to get the gas in there, but you never know how long it'll take. Let's go ahead and hook up my crankcase vent just so I don't forget to later. All right, that sounded good enough. I want to go ahead and put the air filter housing on there. So it fired up on full choke, uh, ran a bit, and then started choking out like it should as it warmed up. And uh, then I took the choke off and it started purring along pretty good. So let's get the air filter housing back on there and uh, get this thing back together. I think we may be good. Let's do another test run because this should be the way it'll run in real life. Sounds reasonably good, so I don't think I'm anything worse, and I think I may have made it a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and button everything up, and uh, then we'll go ahead and try mode with it again. All right, we're put back together, so it's time to go take a test ride, and uh, maybe cut some grass, and maybe try to bleed out the hydraulic system a little bit more. Let's go. All right, well, this thing has been running and cutting great. It's doing really well. I will say, I have a complaint. This deck does not do good at avoiding scalping. Like if there's tree roots and stuff, it will hit them very easily. And even at the transport height, it still uh, pick up a root that I don't normally pick up. Other than that, it's running and cutting pretty good. Let's uh, move on, cut the field now. See if it keeps working good. I think that was a resounding success. So this thing is running and cutting pretty good. I'd say the engine's running about 85, 90% good. Maybe still a little lean, but it's, it's, it's doing a good job. It's got a good amount of power. The deck, I'm not super keen on the scalping abilities of it. It leaves a pretty good cut though. Not super great, you could probably get better blades. Those blades are not the best. So with a fresh set of blades, it would probably cut pretty good. Uh, right now it probably cuts about 70% of what it could do. I'd like to get those bushings replaced in the steering so that the steering bars are not so loose. Just look at all that slop in there. And it's slop at multiple levels. We've got slop up here and then we got slop down there. But we got the job accomplished. We got the yard mode and uh, this thing is now usable. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay safe, keep making stories, and we'll catch you on the next one.